Hello and welcome back to my stamp studio. So it has been a while. I have dusted off all the cobwebs and I have gone straight forward with Celebration. I love these products this year. I've been posting all week about them. Uh, this one I really wanted to come to you with a video because I am so in love with it. So in your Celebration brochure, if you look at the one of the last pages in it, it's page 14 and 15, you'll see this cute little Berry Blessings uh, stamp set and also the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. These two items, the stamp set and the paper, are a free offering with a $100 Stampin' Up! order. And of course that's pre-tax and shipping and handling. This paper is absolutely gorgeous and I've had just as much fun with this little stamp set. So I thought I'd come to you today just to kind of show them off a little bit. I want to make a card and then I want to show you some other cards that I have made uh, in a similar manner. Okay, so first let's talk about the stamp set. It's got these cute little blueberries. You have a solid image and then you have an outlining image and that is true to most of the stamp images in this set. You have cute little leaves here, another little branch of leaves here that go with the blueberries. You also have some cute little raspberries here with a cute little stem that coordinates with them. And then the sentiments with this are wishing you the very best of bountiful blessings and you always have a way of making my day. So I love the little, you know, your very best kind of plays on the images in this set. So it is a set of 13. It is clear, I'm sorry, not clear. It is photo polymer stamp set, okay? So that, in addition to the paper, would be free with a $100 order. And isn't this paper gorgeous? So it coordinates with some of my favorite Stampin' Up! colors. They're bright, bold, cheery colors that I just love, especially uh, during the winter. It just makes me think spring and all these beautiful fruits here. So uh, in addition to these beautiful strawberry images, you have a couple raspberry images here and then some blueberry uh, that are really pretty as well. This one's just kind of a mix of all of them, which is cute. So of course, uh, in fine Stampin' Up! fashion, you know, you have this beautiful side and they give you a second beautiful side to play with. So on the back side, they pulled from all those bold colors and created a lot of geometrical uh, plaid papers that mix and match beautifully with the fruit side, okay? So the very first thing I did when I got this is I went ahead and I, like I said, I try to make six cards with each little bundle that I get. I challenge myself a little bit. Um, and this time I pulled every single uh, designer series paper and I mixed and matched the front with the back which I thought was kind of a fun way of uh, showing you those okay but I want to show you demo a card here today and uh, then I'm going to show you my sample cards afterwards um, so I pulled out one of the um, coordinating colors it is the Pacific Point uh, cardstock. I have a piece of Whisper White. I have a couple pieces of Scrap Whisper Whites here and then I have some of this gorgeous designer series paper. This is Daffodil Delight. Love that Pacific Point and Daffodil Delight together. But I pulled out some of the blueberry paper and then this is the reverse side of that. Okay? Now, I'm going to do a little bit of a split card, and I haven't done this fold for a while. It's what it's actually one of my favorites, and uh, I think it's just a fun card to send to people. I have just my regular card stock here that measures 4 and a fourth by 11, and it is scored down the middle here at 5 and a half. Okay, I've folded that in half. I'm going to go ahead and bring Stampin' Up! Paper Cutter up in here, and... I'm going to open my card up and I'm going to line my score uh, line up to the two inch mark. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to take my cutter and I'm actually going to cut just like that. Then this piece here I'm going to take and cut two inch strip off of it. Okay, keep the two inch strip. 
This other one is just a little bit smaller. It's about one and a half, it looks like here. That will go into your scrap bin. Uh, we don't need that for this project, okay? Now, I've gone ahead and cut the designer series paper. And what I did is I took that sheet of designer series paper. And let me show you how I cut that. Super easy. So, I went ahead and cut this one and three fourths inch strip here, okay? So it's one and three fourths by 12, and that's all you need from your 12 by 12 piece, okay? Then go ahead and cut those pieces into four inch strips, just like that, okay? You get so many cards out of designer series paper. It's just incredible how many cards you can make. So, Next, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to flip two of these over. I think I'm going to use this one. I like the blueberries in that one just a little bit better. I'm going to take my stamp and seal, go ahead and give myself a couple strips of it down each side of my designer series paper. And that two inch strip of Pacific Point is going to have one of those attached to it. And then the other one is going to go up here on that top two inch strip that's off your base card, okay? Just like that, okay? Now this little guy is going to, I used kind of a different little uh, color here because I really wanted this to pop on the front. So we're gonna put this Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna flip my DSP over to show this beautiful other side of it. And again, go ahead and give myself a couple little strips of stamp and seal and layer that on my Daffodil Delight piece right here. Now, I'm lining this bottom up with the bottom corners of my card. And if you want to actually kind of tap it like that, you can make sure that it's lined up perfectly. This is going to get laid on top here. I only want glue here and here. Okay, this is gonna become kind of a split card or kind of a little window in here. So I'm gonna take my mono multi-purpose glue here and I'm just gonna give myself a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom, okay? Again, being careful that I don't get any there in the middle. Making sure that your bottom piece is lined up with your bottom corners there of your base I'm gonna take this and just lay it right over here towards the left side, okay? And of course, making sure that it's straight. Now, in this cute stamp set, of course, there are blueberries. It coordinates beautifully. We have these little blueberry solid images, the line images, and then we have this beautiful little sprig of from a blueberry bush, okay? So, we're going to take a piece of Whisper White scrap here, and I'm going to take the outline one and stamp it in garden green. I feel like the uh, outlined one is the best one to start with. It just uh, lines up much nicer. Now, I could have had a paper piercing pad underneath here because this is photopolymer. My surface that I work on here when I'm making videos is very smooth. The table is super smooth, so I get by without it. But remember with photopolymer, uh, that little mat works beautifully uh, in giving those stamps just a little bit of cush. Now it's photopolymer, as I just said, and so you can line that up perfectly with the lined leaf image. And this I'm stamping in Granny Apple Green. The first one, if I didn't mention it, I stamped in Garden Green. So I have my two greens here that coordinate beautifully to make a little sprig. Okay? Now let's add our blueberries. So I pulled out my Pacific Point and my Night and Navy. Again, two different blues, so they complement each other. And the Pacific Point is a little bit lighter and a little bit brighter, so that's going to have my solid blueberries. And the stamp has two larger ones and a small one. And I'm going to really, you know what, I'm doing the opposite of what I just told you to do. Stamp your outline one first. So I'm going to go dip into my Night and Navy first. 
And that's the first one I'm going to put down. You play around and see what you think. I think it's much easier to do the outlined one first. It makes uh, stamping the second one, I feel like, a little bit easier. Okay? All right, now we're ready for these. And again, photopolymer, I can see clear through there and go right over my outline blueberries. And there you go. They're lined up perfectly. Isn't that great? Isn't that pretty? Now, there are no dies or punches that come with this. So, and I really wanted this to be cut out. So I did take scissors and I fussy cut it. Okay. And for the sake of time, I went ahead and I did that ahead of time here. Okay. So this is going to get laid here. I went ahead and I put a few little dimensionals on the back side. I have uh, our regular size, and then I have a few little the mini ones here as well. And I'm just going to take that and lay that. Well, I think I'm going to do it this way. I was kind of keeping in mind of how I was going to do my, i got a sentiment strip I want to put across here yet. Okay, just like that. And then one of the sentiments that come with that is wishing you the very best, which of course goes perfectly with this stamped images. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it in the night and navy here. Perfect, just like that. Now, I think it's a little wide. So I'm going to pull my paper cutter back in here and go ahead and trim off the ends just like that and then like I said I think it's just a little wide there I think I could probably cut a little bit off that bottom so I'm going to go ahead and line that up that way and gently cut that okay so I have just a little bit more narrow strip to lay on my card Now I have these up on dimensionals, so I don't think I want this up on dimensionals. I think it'll be too much. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to put a little bit of multi-purpose glue actually right here on my leaves. And that's just going to get laid across just like that. I still want my stem to show. I still want my leaves to show. Isn't that cute? All right, and then I have a piece of four by five and a quarter white that I'm going to place on the inside, which really makes the front of this card pop. Just like that. Isn't that fun? And when you go to stand it then, it's just kind of a fun, different, interesting card to send to somebody. Okay, I think that's really cute. So I really loved this design with these papers and showing them off. So I created other ones. So in addition to that blueberry one, I have this one showing off some of the paper. I have some of the um, raspberries that are in that, and that coordinates with this Blackberry Bliss paper. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I have some that coordinates with the Calypso Coral paper, and also did some little raspberries with it as well. So, very cute. Now, in the main spring mini catalog, I shouldn't say main because it's not the main catalog, it's the spring, this one here. And by the way, if you don't have these catalogs yet, let me know, I will get them to you. Uh, on page 44, there is the cutest sweet strawberry bundle, and I have fallen in love with that, and of course, it coordinates beautifully with uh, this celebration products. So you get the stamp set, and this is actually a handheld punch for $32.25. So right there, you're on your way to $50 uh, to be able to earn at least half of this um, celebration, of these celebration items. So the punch not only has a cute strawberry on it, also has a cute little leaf, a cute little strawberry blossom, and then it's got the cute little strawberry top, the green top, okay? And then, of course, it has stamps that coordinate with that punch. You have a cute little sprig with some blossoms here, all again with kind of the two-step stamping with the watercolor solid image and then an outline image. 
the strawberries, the strawberry tops, and then some leaves. And these little sayings are very cute. That was so sweet of you. Hello there, just for you. Happy birthday, you sweet thing, and thank you. And again, they have that mixed font. I just love those fonts on that. So to show off the additional designer series paper in this pack, I went ahead and made some cute little strawberry cards. These are so simple to make, and I just love that shadowing of the strawberry there. Makes it look very realistic. Here's another one that I made, bright with yellows and reds. This is actually Poppy Parade with Daffodil Delight. And there's that font of that thank you that I just think is so cute. So, uh, a great little bundle of products that obviously coordinates beautifully with the um, Celebration um, stamp set, Berry Blessings, and the Delightfully Berry Celebration DSP paper as well. So I hope you enjoyed this today. It was just a nice little quickie to come to you to show you this cute little um, offering that Celebration has right now. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I hope all of you are having a nice day and have a wonderful weekend. Until next time.